Hi everyone, this is Nabir Watcher. It is April 11, 2018. I am on Mr. MB333 channel. Showing something, a strange static glitch. Let's play the video. Check this out. Did you see that? It happens pretty quick because it happened quick because they're moving their hand quick. They can move their camera back and forth half the day and it would have kept doing the same thing. It was not a glitch. It was a lens in space approximately I believe to be 250 miles out let's watch that one again he slows it down for you Did you catch that now so I freeze framed it I recorded it myself so that I can move the video back and forth to capture this exact split second time we see the edge of the lens array folding the light of the house right here in fact and move it back and forth twice depending on the ink changing the angle so let's look at this thing as it slowly as if as this glitch happens so we saw the glitch here watch it fold and work the light moving the house towards the light towards the center of the lens and it happened again it actually happened twice but folding the lights slightly different the second time it appeared here we see it folding it at this side of the house because the whole earth is spinning it would have changed it so at this point it folded it here and then a few seconds later moves it back across and folds it again could have just kept doing this all day we'd make quite the video out of it not a glitch people it happened twice and this is what we see in the skies so back to what MB3 observed are these light lenses in outer space. Where have we seen that before? How about over here? Where I showed you another video. This is not Photoshop. This is I'm on Addicted Sports right now. This is a link. We can watch the light bending right here. The light is bent. Pretty obvious here. Now let's see what happens a little later on in this video. What are they hiding with this lens system in space? We can see that these beams of light are straight. Frame after frame. Then along comes this celestial body projecting and bringing into focus the striped planet. I will show you later, but let's just focus on the light bending in the lens array and why they're doing this. Why would they do that? Look at this. And we can see the light beams are straight and short. And then we see the distortion and the light bending in towards the center of the lens. And then it returns back to normal. See the edge of the projected lens array. And we see light beams being relatively straight, straight, very straight actually, despite the condition of the water. We see the distortion of light due to the humidity in the lens array in the air. Once it Earth orbits into position, pulling the center point of focus from the lens array straight to this spot in northern Italy. All the while we can see these beams of light now being straight here we see the projected the pre projection objects of the same similar object the striped planet now coming into focus right here and in whatever we see on one camera we see on the other camera once these cameras loses their light here's the object seeing it on two different cameras We see the light bending in this camera. This is more recent, April 8th. Watch the light bend. See the straight beams of light. They're straight. Everything looks normal. Ah, a little bent right there. Let's go back. They're straight and they're elongated and bent right there. See the bend. Not as severe as the last one, but clearly the light has bent 
temporarily and then return and a little more severe as the lens is, the light is now being distorted towards the bottom here and this area right here is being the distortion and the returning similar back to normal and being bent back this way as it passes on the other side <laughs> wow and again we see the projection of the striped planet coming clear into focus again I will show you pictures of this striped planet with the signature stripes of it and whatever we see let me forward to one o'clock this is 1 30 let's go to one o'clock here we see this object now comes into view and whatever we see on this camera you know we see on this camera and the same direction at the same time react in the same way you know I couldn't be something on the lens because it wouldn't move around it would be something in front of the camera because we're watching it on two cameras so there you go I just uh <laughs> for some of you it's hard to get out of that cognitive dissonance <laughs> this one was taken out April Again, we see the lens array pulling this out of focus let me show you pictures of the striped planet this signature right here that we see I showed you in my other videos but before I do let me show you what happens when you put lenses in front of objects they hide them by pulling the focus away from your eyes it vanishes and then we get Again, first discovered this lens array back in 2016. We discovered this in July, going on almost two years ago. Here we see the lenses in a time lapse camera over in Australia. We can see these big lenses slightly overlapping one another. And as the sun sets, we can see the smaller lenses here clustered together I've had other videos about this so please go back and watch the further breakdown and all the photographic and video proof of these lenses that are in space that are responsible for the double Sun halo let me just show you I can zoom this in you see the two thicknesses here that is the reason why I believe why we have the double rainbows almost at every single rainstorm double and yet they keep calling it rare on every rainstorm and I already made a video about the disappearing moon as it passes right through the two three overlapping lenses here we have this shadowy object when the rising Sun in this time-lapse video you could watch the moon as it sets go from a full moon a new moon to a full moon and then four days earlier that in itself is pretty bizarre and then we could see the moon as it orbits right in front of the lens array let me zoom that in let me catch that for you watch this split in three separate pieces so just a change of thought real quick but I had posted a video about the pole shift Sun change difference and to my horror I was wrong and I took it down something that Naughty Beaver was talking about the Sun how it suddenly shifted directions actually was because of the time difference that happened on the 24th and I almost wanted to do the same thing Naughty Beaver did was take down my channel and hide my face because I was so embarrassed but I quickly took away the video <laughs> so you know be Naughty Beaver if you're listening to this we all make mistakes man and uh, we just did, got to admit it and get over it and uh, I apologize never mean to ever mislead anyone about the things that I'm seeing in the sky so again I was tracking you on that and I think I fell into the same thing <laughs> and I walked in the same boat
just to find out that it was just a daylight savings change. So my apologies. So that's why I took down the video. And so not a beaver. Beaver, if you're watching, please come back. We all make mistakes, man. So we're all here to support you, man. This is a collection of the lens arrays that we have on file. Many, many more reasons why we have the sun halos, the strange suns that we get, this converging of the lens rays that we see here and here as these lenses were converging upon another, one another. We keep seeing them. Sometimes people do confuse them as planets. It's very hard to determine whether it's a planet or a lens. It takes practice. Anyways, please copy, like, and share this video. Have a blessed day.